friends, goodness, and wisdom to all. Welcome at the Summary Club. Today we are going to tell you what Tatyana Vladimirovna Chernigovskaya, known for her very interesting, captivating lectures and numerous interviews, says and thinks about modern education. Tatyana Vladimirovna Chernigovskaya is a Russian scientist in the field of neuroscience and psycholinguistics, a doctor of biological and philological sciences, and most importantly, she is practically the only scientist who can talk about science in a non-boring language and with humor. Tatyana Chernigovskaya has reached such heights in this that she understandably and lucidly tells even about the most complex and advanced scientific research of the brain, which gives a lot to understand oneself and the world around. But, unfortunately, it is almost impossible for the average person to understand them from the mouths of ordinary boring scientists, and even more so from thick books of many thousands of pages. And that is why, today, we have gathered for you the most famous interviews by Tatyana Chernigovskaya about current trends in quality education and its achievements and problems in recent times. Now you will learn all this in a brief concentrated content, which will save you many hours of listening to super interesting and useful lectures and interviews by this brilliant scholar. Modern education needs specialists who understand different areas of knowledge now. In the 21st century, there is a situation where certain sciences have outlived their usefulness. And it doesn't matter what specialty a person has in his diploma or not in his diploma, or maybe he has studied additionally. What is important is what he does. For example, cognitive science, which accommodates how one thinks, how one speaks, how this is provided by the brain. What happens when he thinks? How this differs from what animals are able to do. This science studies brain and consciousness, brain and thinking, brain and language, brain and music, brain and other activities. Of course, when doing brain research, you have to understand in these areas so you don't make mistakes. There is no choice here. But each person, having received a specific modern education, can continue to study in other areas. That is why it is impossible to limit oneself to any one science. It is necessary to understand in different directions. For example, says Tatyana Vladimirovna, in my case, dealing with the brain, it is impossible not to come to medicine. We also need multidisciplinary scientists who combine many different kinds of knowledge. Cognitive science accommodates, for example, from quite humanistic philology to neuroscience. And even computer science has something to do with it. It's a trend all over the world right now. And it implies a different kind of education. Russia has an advantage over other developed countries. Our traditional education was not as specialized. We had an engineer in general, a linguist in general. This has disadvantages, but there are also pluses. A broader quality education allows you to go into other sciences. We had no experts on the 13th nut of the 8th Thames Bridge. Because a trainee in Russia receives an education of such breadth that he can have a wide range of associations. The chance that such a person will make a discovery is significantly higher than someone who knows everything about this nut. Of course, we also need people who know everything about these nuts. You need an education as well. A highly specialized one. Where is modern education going? The brain is constantly learning. You can't become a genius. But you can go from an average person to a well-prepared one. That's why I'm in favor of schools for gifted children. When it's obvious that this child needs to study languages, this child needs to study music. This one needs ballet or math. But it doesn't follow that the rest of the schools should give minimal information. There has to be a quality education. In order to find out what a person is capable of, he must test himself in different areas, mathematics, reading, singing, dancing, sports. And then it is only found out where he is good for. If he hasn't done anything, how can you know? The brain? No. You can't tell that from the brain. The brain of a gifted, intelligent adult is different from that of an average person. But this difference is not in physical things, but in the complexity of the neural network. This is very difficult to capture by technical means. A complex brain can be the brain of a person with schizophrenia. There is a hypercomplex neural network. The brain has to work hard. There are scientific studies that prove that people who use gadgets all the time have a worse memory. And, therefore, their brain development is worse. They have no reason to memorize because information is easily retrieved. This, of course, interferes with quality modern education. 
In this case, there is no way to form a complex neural network structure for the brain. Therefore, this information is bad because it leads to brain degradation rather than brain development. Natalia Petrovna Bektareva always said to give up notebooks, no electronic calendars, no schedules of your life for days or even hours to make your brain work better. Everything should be in your head, I says Tatyana Chernigovskaya, unfortunately, do not follow this. Subscribe to the Summary Club and watch short versions of the most popular and useful videos every day. For example, as a university professor, I don't care how much a student spent at home studying. I'm interested in the results that come out of it. In 10 minutes, I envy him. If it took him 18 hours of uninterrupted work, I feel sorry for him. But I don't care how much diligence was expended. Of course, you can't jump from the first floor to the fifth at once. It takes work. It is necessary to create such conditions that it is interesting to learn we all have different genetic potential in our brains. Even the most brilliant brain can do nothing if nothing happens after it is born and begins to form. Here, too, quality education is needed. In geniuses, it takes a lot of quality work to have ability or even super ability. But that doesn't mean diligence or straight A's in all subjects. It takes work in the right direction. Yes. Geniuses are born. If one has genetically received a beautiful brain, this wonderful instrument from parents and grandparents, one still has to learn to play it. One can learn well and be a great performer or composer. The other needs more effort. Or he may not learn so much, even with the effort. And also, of course, for a child, and even more so for a teenager it is necessary to create such conditions, so that at the sight of a book he would not vomit. At the sight of the university he would not turn around and run to the pub. And that he runs to the university, and not because he will be punished or taken to the army. Or something like that. But because he was terribly interested. Today's younger generation has a vogue for knowledge and today's education still have the advantage of extra points for admission, those who win the Olympiads. This is a serious selection. The educational system is set up so that young people have access to education without blood and money. It's in vogue now for young people to go to scientific lectures. Instead of going to the disco to go to scientific lectures, to scientific talks. This is a very pleasant trend. Besides, not only me, I observe a stratification among students. There are groups of students who are very fast thinkers. They have computers in their heads. They are the intellectual elite. These students and graduate students understand who they are. Gifted, talented young people stay and work in their homeland. They begin to make up the intellectual elite of the country. It is prestigious for them not to have a Ferrari car, but to know more than others. These kids don't come from somewhere, they come from special schools. Where they are already made like that. There is no way out, that is my opinion. There will be an intellectual stratification. There will be an education that only people with special abilities will be able to endure. That's not money. You can't buy the ability to do, for example, structural linguistics. That's impossible. In today's education, it's in the first grades of school that only the best, the wisest should teach. In today's education, only the stars, only the best, should teach in the first grades of school. The most capable, the most subtle, the wisest teachers should be there. Young children need to be able to be taught in a way that doesn't discourage them from learning more. So that children want to learn more and more every day to absorb new knowledge like sponges. But in our schools today, unfortunately, it's the opposite. And this is the main problem of quality modern education. My opinion is, it is necessary to teach children, but if possible not to spoil what is already in them. To manifest what nature has already given. And not to cross it out. The brain changes in development. A child may at first seem backward, strange, underdeveloped. But they, such children, may turn out to be the ones who will make the discoveries that determine the movement of humanity in general. But do we have such specialists who will be able to figure this out in the early grades and correctly direct each child in the right quality educational direction? To summarize the above, we advise you to at least try to instill in your children a love of learning in the first place and not idleness and degradation of computer games, since so far it cannot do teachers at school. And most importantly, try to memorize more and constantly learn something by training your memory, read good books, to develop your brain, your intellect. To improve yourself in different areas of our life, to be a versatile educated modern man and a specialist. 
This is what will lead you to wisdom and success in the shortest way, which is what we, as a learning and self-development portal, wish you. We also thank Tatyana Vladimirovna Chernigovskaya for interesting and useful interviews on comprehensive self-development in various fields. We will definitely return to her and other lectures, and I hope that together we will make modern education at least a little bit better and more effective and most importantly, more useful and much more fun for our children and ourselves. And friend, don't forget to subscribe to the Summary Club for becoming more successful, educated, kinder and wiser every day. Save hundreds of hours and dollars spending on boring regular education. Feel free to write your opinions and questions about each video. We read all the comments. In addition, go to our official website, where you can find reading materials or watch other videos on channel and links in the description. All the best.